Hello, Salaam, Namaskar. How are you guys doing today? Uh, today I'm going to be doing a very short video today uh, on the bag that I just recently got. This is my second uh, bag from Arctic Fox, and I'm not I'm not uh, sponsored by them. So I was searching for a bag that I was that I had my previous sling bag and I could carry it, but then it was a little heavy, so uh, to carry it around just in one shoulder. So I was looking for a backpack in the range of say 2000 to 4000 and I found this bag and this was uh, this was a woody competitor there were some others uh, as well like the, the, the Wildcraft Shutterbug uh, Shutterbug was there the Loewe Pro Tahoe 150 and the Vanguards were there but I think uh, we are applying some uh, uh, discount codes at the website and I got it at a very decent price of around 2000 200 odd rupees so as you can see this bag has certain uh, features that I'm going to be listing out from the website uh, it has uh, it has a capacity of 31 liters uh, first aid kit which is uh, right here the first aid kit uh, it has a, a water repellent it's not waterproof but it repels water uh, it has a later pouch which is there at the back shoulder strap it is has SBS branded zippers, which I'm going to be talking about a little bit in a while. Uh, it has detachable dividers inside, uh, airflow system backside, which helps you to carry uh, for longer duration, uh, padded shoulders, uh, shoulder straps here, and it has a rain co uh, cover, and it has a trolley sleeve also at behind, and it has a 15 inch uh, laptop compartment. So these are some of the features of this bag. Uh, uh, so let me tell you something so this is how the back looks like and this is how uh, this is the front zipper compartment so you can put some knickknacks here maybe your phone or uh, some food items or some very quick access items can go here maybe your wallet as well uh, I carry my pepper spray here and no way And this is the another compartment which access from the top like this quick access or uh, all the battery the battery banks the cables and everything goes here and this this is the compartment i'm going to be using and this is the main compartment and it all uh, accesses through here so there are two zippers here and goes like this if you see here so these are some uh, you have a zipper here and here I keep my uh, cables uh, certain cables here the um, these are the SD cards here these are the compartments I generally keep the camera here but the camera I'm using it right now uh, here I'll be keeping the extra lens which I have it's a Sony 18 uh, Sony 55 to 210 lens I, I think you can carry bigger lenses here so I made this compartment because I shoot with the GoPro so I have my GoPro equipment here. so this is where I keep the stuff so I was wondering uh, uh, if I buy a gimbal probably I'll be putting a gimbal here I'll be buying a very small gimbal uh, enough for the GoPro and maybe for a mirrorless setup like this. Uh, this is my uh, GoPro three-way mount. Um, and I carry here the Manfrotto, uh, the Manfrotto tripod for a desk tripod. Very handy. So. Uh, looking behind. Let me just unzip it, zip it. Let me just zip it. So I still have the tags here. I'll show you the tags in a while. This is where I'll be carrying the laptop. And this is one of the biggest pros I was looking for. Around say around 2000 to 3000 ranges. I was not getting too many laptop, uh, uh, too many camera bags which would carry a laptop. So this has a compartment and it has a compartment for a 15 inch laptop. So. Um, I have a, I have this 
MacBook Pro 15 inch so I'm going to be putting it inside so I'm going to be putting it outside and this has uh, just uh, this has just a little bit more space for uh, an iPad I can put my iPad also here like this so it'll be a very snug fit but something that can protect you over here we have the the raincoat cover and so yeah so this is the basic layout it's around uh say around 1.4 or uh, 1.4 kilograms on the scale uh without any of the compa uh, without any of the equipments and comes it's around 1.3 to be precise and 1.4 with the paddings so a very strong pad padding so that is one of our pros so this is how the bag looks like at the end of the day you cannot compress this to go further because the paddings are here you can carry your one liter bottle here for drinking this side i am carrying my tripods and the three-way mounts as i said uh, yeah so this is how the compartment looks like i made this division so you can easily take it out and put it like this by because I'm using the GoPro uh, compartment, so I've used it primarily to keep my GoPro as of now. Uh, we'll wait and see how the, uh, the equipment setup upgrades later. So some of the pros of these bags are, uh, it is, it, uh, I was looking for, as I said, like, I was looking for a bag which has a laptop compartment and being a 15 inch, uh, uh, carrying capacity for a laptop or uh, for this bag is, is something of big uh, pro for me uh, it has secured paddings paddings here the internal paddings it's, it's secured and it's very strong so this is really uh, helpful for your camera equipment the price to performance value yes i mean at 2.2 2.3 2 grand uh, i think it's it's, it's a stu uh, stupendous value uh, or I would say stellar value for money bag. Uh, storage space, as I said, like I can I can still carry a lot of space. Uh, it has 31 liters as per the website, so that's a lot of uh, that's a lot of uh, carrying capacity for the price. Uh, the quality of materials used are really nice. Uh, I'm really happy. I uh, just like my uh, after the unboxing, this just like my third day of using the bag, and the quality seems pretty nice. Yep. And the low weight, it's around 1.3, 1.4. So that's pretty good enough in a ballpark figure of me be able to carry it for a very long duration of time. Uh, also depends on the weight of the equipment that I'm carrying, but the weight of the bag is pretty low. Some of the negatives that I can probably notice are the zipper qualities can be much better. I think my previous Arctic Fox sling bag uh, had better zips than right now this one and if you see here uh, the top loading so there is only one zip it would have been really good but if they would have given at least two zips because it makes it more secured uh, and also more efficient because if one breaks I can still use the other one so yeah uh, third thing which is maybe a very personal thing for me uh, there are no chest straps so you can just uh, strap it chest strap buckle but i've been really nice if they would have given that and i would have really appreciated but yeah it's not there uh also uh then this i might be nitpicking but then i would have also preferred uh a waist or uh, strap because if you actually want to carry it for longer shoots or maybe a walk in the park or in the hills and you're hiking and you want to carry with this equipment that helps to counterbalance the weight and it's not there so i think that's a con for me so i really hope you like this video uh, this was my short review on this bag that i've been uh, that i just bought and i think it's fantastic value for money for what it offers uh, i really hope that it really uh, 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 takes on the responsibility of the carrying bag uh, would want to see how it uh, holds up in the coming days and months uh, we'll do a follow-up review later 
yeah, I hope you like the video. And if you did like the video and you do like the content that I'm giving right now, why don't you just subscribe and like my channel? I'll see you later. Bye.